Hey guys, what's going on? It is your boy, me back with you once again for another round of Deal or No Deal right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. Well, the cases are getting ready to be lined up and we are getting ready to kick things off in a big way here as I try once again to fight for another chance at $1 million. Will I be able to take home the big money or will I fall just short of winning it all? We'll find out as our game of Deal or No Deal begins right now. All right, for me to win the game, of course, it's going to take a lot of guts and great sense of timing, and hopefully a chance for me not to mess this up. But in order to play the game, we need our cases. So, computer, please. All right, there they are. The 26 cases that are needed to play, needed to win. All the cases, of course, have different cash amounts inside of them from one penny all the way up to our top prize today of $1 million. And of course, in order, the game is simple. All I have to do is pick the million dollar case and get the king on. Wait a minute. Hold that fault. We just got a double deal. We just got a double deal at random. Big John's uh, deal or no deal game will throw out double, even triple deals. So now we're playing for a top prize of $2 million. That means there are three cases now in play worth a million dollars or more. I'd like to win one of them. We'll see if it's the case. Now, I'm going to pick my normal two cases that I always feel like the money is either in either 25 or 15. I'm going to keep those in play till later. But I think that the case I'm going to go with today is, is the case that sort of represents uh, me and my wife's anniversary date put together. We got married on April the 3rd, 2021. Put the last digits together. 4, 3, 2, and 1 all together makes 10. So I'm going to choose Case number two. And hopefully that's the case that is worth $2 million in this game. All right. In order to determine what's in the, my case, i got to start by opening all the rest of these cases. Obviously, what's ever in there is not in mine. We begin round one with six cases. So here we go. Let's get things kicked off right with number 16. Twenty bucks. All right, good start. Twenty dollars off the board. We'll not be going home with that one. Let's try number seven. Eight hundred dollars. Very nice. Two cases on the left. Off to a good start. We'll continue with number twenty. Let's see. Twenty is worth two hundred dollars. Great. Three for three. Keep it on the left side for the first round. I'm doing amazing. Let's go 23. Thousand dollars still on the left. Still on the left. Still a good case choice. Two more. Uh, let's go to the bottom row. Number one. Top of the charts. Bottom of the bus board. Number one is worth two pennies. Nice. All right. Only thing that makes this a, almost a perfect run would be um, a two dollar case right now, and I think two dollars might be in twenty six. Let's find out. And oof! 
Well, five out of six ain't terrible. $800,000 is gone. But again, the $3 million plus cases that are in play are still together. And as long as they stay together, I can open up the rest of the board and be perfectly fine with that. But of course, this is the part of the game where the banker now calls me, tries to make a deal, buy my case, and get me out of this game. Let's see what the first offer is. Banker's offering me $60,000, which is a great, which is a great opening offer. $60,000 to go, but five more cases await from me. So in this race, rare case, I'm going to say no deal. All right, round one's complete. Going on to round two now where I must open up five more cases. Let's continue on. Let's go with 19. 19 is worth 400,000. Okay. Well, after a great first round, I'm like, is it inevitably going to start opening up some cases on the right? Let's just hope I don't do it all of them at once at this point. That's all I'm hoping for. All right. Um, 21. 21 is worth 150,000. Okay. The amounts are getting smaller, which I like. Keep doing that. We'll be in good shape. Um... 14. Finish that last one off on the side there. Ooh! A million and a half dollars. Ouch. That's three big amounts in a row. Not a not a great showing there. Alright, but I still have one million and two million in play. I got two cases left. I said I was gonna try to save them for later in the game, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on both of them now. Because I feel like they have small amounts that can kind of get me back in the game. We'll start with 15 first. $100. Okay. Glad I opened it now. Let's see if we can get one more on the right side. 25 Pull it. Come on. Give me $2. I want $2. $400. Okay. My cases were trash this game, and I needed to open them now. But all right. I only have six cases. After opening up 11, I have six cases left on the left side. That's not terrible. In a perfect scenario, I would only have two more left. Which is still good. But I can do better. Let's see what the next offer is. 53 now. All right. I guess I took one too many good big hits there, and the offer went down a little bit. But 53000 is nothing to, for me to sneeze at. And I would honestly give it consideration to think about. I know, again, if the, I always try to play these games like the money's for real that I'm playing for. And with that much big money still left on the board, I'd have to gamble a little bit more. So I'm going to say no deal. All right, four cases now in round three. Let's start with number three. Looking for a small amount. Come on. 10,000, okay. 10,000 is great. Upper right-hand side is fine, but I still need to get rid of some of these other small ones. Let's go two for two. Let's see if it's there. $2 case under two for the win. 50,000, okay. Again, that's probably... I don't need to open up any more bigger ones bigger than that at this point. Let's go 24. 24. Oof. Million dollars. Ouch. All right. All right, now it is all or nothing at this point. $2 million case. If I oh, bust that, most I walk away with 600000 One more case. Let's go number eight. Please be $2 so I can save my, save my game here. Number eight is $10. All right. Second smallest amount I could have opened. But all right. 
I lost another one of that big free block. I lost the million dollar case. Again, I need to keep the 200,000, otherwise this game is going to go down in the hole very quickly. First offer was 60,000. Second offer was 53,000. I think I'm back up to maybe 70,000, but it's not going to be that big of a jump. Because I still lost. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yes, it is. $108,000. Wow. Um, I ain't gonna lie, that number would actually sit here and make me think about it because there are so many opportunities of things that can happen that can make my game worse or better. Looking at the overall dynamic of the board, there's five on the left, six on the right. So there are more bigger cases that I can open than little ones currently. So I think that's why the amount jumped up as big as it did. But you know what? I'd almost take the 108000 but again, there's still so much money on the board. I'm, like, I'm a fool if I don't at least attempt to try to crack in around the $200,000 range. Because I have a number in my head that if I get offered, I'm done. So let's figure out where we're going. I'm going to say no deal for now. Okay, round three now. I believe I'm putting up four cases. No, sorry, round four, excuse me. I'm sorry I can keep count. Open up three cases. Two on the left would be optimum in this round. Let's try six. Fifty bucks, nice. Okay, that's one down. Two more to go. Eleven. Two thousand dollars. Okay. That's, if that's my one for the right side, I am doing great. Finally. I'm going to go with... I'm feeling 22. No, I'm not talking about Taylor Swift together. Like, come on, 22. Be nice. Two dollars. Two hundred thousand. Okay. Again, I had more cases on the right than I could have opened up on the left. But overall, that was an okay round. Two hundred thousand dollar count case was the line but I feel like it was a line that could be stepped on I just don't need to cross it but the two million and the six hundred thousand dollar cases both still in play 38 percent chance of walking away with more than a hundred thousand dollars and the offer is two hundred and four thousand dollars that was wild sorry two hundred four thousand Open up two cases next round. And odds right now are 50-50 split. That's scary. You're giving me 10% for 50-50 this early? Because if I open up the $600,000 to $2 million, say goodbye to that $204,000. So I'm in, I am in that rare air scenario at this point. And I've got to open up two cases. I'll gamble. No deal. Oh. That genuinely made me think. And that made me hurt. Because I'm like. I'm betting on the 75% chance that I don't open up 600000 or the $2 million case. That's the only way the offers go up from here. And I got to open up two. All right. Let's go 12. Come on, $2 case. Where you hide? And there goes the 600000 
Not the absolute worst case scenario, but we're halfway to it. There are now one, two, three, four, five, six cases I can open out of a possible seven that are still in play. If I know the $2 million is in my case, I have to go the rest of the way to open up the rest of them. But I got to open up one more right now, and that one case is going to be number five. Anything but the two million is all I want at this point. Anything but the two million. Please give me two dollars, though. Open the case. Six hundred. I'll take it. I will take that. And now at this point, I am playing with fire because it is a landmine situation. Six cases in play. One of them absolutely ruins this game. If I had to look at this from like any other game show scenario right now, I am. Uh, this is pressure luck. When you have three whammies, you have four spins left, and you've got to try to catch first place in order to win. But he's offering two hundred seventy-six thousand dollars right now. And basically, it's now the point of how much do I want to gamble? Is there? Because if I mess up again, it's over. And two hundred seventy-six thousand after taxes would be fine for me. Because I'm like, there's, there's no point in doing so. Again, eighty. I think. What's the math on that? 16.5.7% chance. So I'm looking at an 83% chance I can get one off or better on this next pick if I go for it. I'm an idiot and a glutton for punishment. No deal. I think nine times out of ten, I would have taken that 273,000, 276,000, I would have been done with it. But I got a 17% chance of avoiding $2 million. That means 83% chance that I'm going to open up anything but that. And I only want one case. And that one case in this case is going to be number four. Again, anything but the big one. Open the case. Fifteen hundred dollars. Perfect. Perfect. One in five shot that I have two million dollars now in my case. And the banker offer is definitely going to go up being it was one of the amounts on the left side. So after slipping up in round two, seeing the offer go down, it jumped to 276000 last round. And now the new deal is $325,000. $325,000 is the offer right now. Or open up one more case again with an 80% chance of not opening $2 million. And... For you folks at home watching, the magical number I had in my head, which should be no surprise to anybody at this point, is about 350. But in this case, I will take 325. Deal. Take the money. Which I am not mad at. 325,000 after taxes. That's a that's a easily a quarter million bucks guaranteed which again live comfortably for a few couple years off of maybe invest in a business and turn that into actual more money but was it the most I could have won let's play out the rest of the game and find out light up the cases again please all right and I said no deal to that I had 9 13 17 18 left I would have probably broke up the cases that were side by side and would have went the big one next. I would have went 18. 
eight case 18 was worth twenty thousand dollars and that would have shot the bank offer up to three hundred and eighty two thousand dollars okay so I've missed out on sixty thousand but I'm not mad about that so far and I said no deal to that next case choice would have been nine I see case nine was worth two dollars there it was uh, that one hurt because now I know the offer will skyrocket and it will jump to six hundred fifty eight thousand dollars ouch Okay. All right. One three shot. I had the two million dollar case. I think I would have saved thirteen for last on this one. I would have went with uh, seventeen, probably. All right. Seventeen had the two million dollar case. Okay. So I either had a hundred and fifty bucks or a hundred thousand dollars. So either way, at this point, I made a great deal. Final bank offer would have been $49,000. So I could have doubled my money had I had a little more guts and went with it. But I'm still happy with $325,000 because I sold like $100,000 case for $325,000. So I made $225,000 worth of profit. I ain't mad at that. There's the $150 case right there. So yeah, I could have went two more times, maybe three, and I got lucky. But you know what? I ain't mad at it. That was a good time. That was a good game. And I'll take my $325,000 and run. But that's going to be it for this episode of Deal or No Deal, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Big John's Deal or No Deal or the other Deal or No Deal series I've done here on the channel, make sure you check out the Deal or No Deal playlist here. here. And if you want to see more game show games like this, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell that way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at mvg productions and until the cases get shuffled up once again and somebody else tries their luck to try to walk away a millionaire i'm your host brandon struck saying thanks for watching and i'll see you next time for more deal or no deal so long everyone